ask you a question. How many of y'all like to read? Oh, everybody's hands are bigger. No. Oh, I love reading. Yes, he loves it. Well, you know, reading is a really cool thing. Because if you can read really good, you can do anything. You know, let's say that you decided today that you were going to build a house. Okay? And so you said, I'm going to buy me a hammer and nails and I'm going to build me a house. We'll start out with a tree house, okay? You're going to build her a tree house. Now, she can go over to the library and she can look in, you know, that computer and it's a tree house. Uh, building a tree house. And she goes get the book and she goes to her, to her father and says, Dad, I need $400 to build a tree house. <laughs> and he says, well, sure. Here, take my credit card. And she goes... And, and she goes and says, Mom, can I use the car to go down and pick up the stuff at oh, Home Depot? And she says, sure, here's the keys, honey. Go ahead. Oh, she goes at oh, Home Depot and she loads all this lumber up in the back of the car, you know, and ties some of it on the top and some on the sides and everything. Comes back home and she's going to build a 600 square foot tree house. Right the house. And she's got, she's got carpeting for it and, and wood paneling and a microwave and central heat air and all this stuff to build up in this tree house. And she's got her book out and she starts building this thing. Well, you know, it's really weird because this house, this tree house of hers, comes out looking really strange. And people, you know, they drive by and they go, what in the world is that? <laughs> and, and, and one day the news people come up and they knock on the door and they say, uh, can, can we speak to the, uh, to the person that built that thing in the backyard? <laughs> and so she comes out and, and, and the man has the microphone and he says, tell me young lady, uh, why did you decide to build an 800 square foot banana split? <laughs> You see, she couldn't read real good, and so she accidentally got a book on how to make banana splits, and she built her a 800 square foot banana split up on the top of her truck. Now, if she could have read a little better, then she could have built, of course she probably wouldn't have got on the news, but she could have built a really nice, really nice tree house, you know, like rented it out for $900 a month to the Yankees to come down and have a place like that. And so, you know, she could have made a lot of money, but instead she had an 800 foot banana split. And who wants to spend the summer in a banana split? <laughs> Not too many people. Well, uh, yeah, because it's kind of soggy too. You don't want to come back from the beach covered with sand and dive into a banana split. I mean, that would be really gross. So, if you learn how to read really good, you can do anything. You can even you can even find out about places all over the world, and and you can go there and look. And sometimes when I was little, I'd sit down and I'd get books. And I mean, like, I, my library, my school was about the size of this one, and so I would go in the library and I would I would say, I'd go over to the shelves and I'd say, I like this book, this particular book. Piled by the side. And I'd go up to the desk and I'd say, I want to check these out. And the librarians for 30 minutes, she said, I was hoping it would take the whole class period. And she's going through and she do all, does all this stuff. And then I take them home and then I just, and every night before I go to bed and I get, you know, I take this flashlight and I had this thing where I, a big old rubber band I could hang on my head and the flashlight shine down and I could read these books. And I'd read all these books. And then like the next week I'd go back, you know, I'd take a little pop out. I mean, I'd get another whole big pile of them and do this and do this and then, you know, and read and read and read and read. It cost a lot of battery. But I would read and read and read and when I did, I found out that I learned all kinds of really neat stuff. Now, I'm going to tell you a story 